What's up guys? Hey, so I just want to chat with you guys real quick about something money and this is something that nobody talks about it feels like but dude I'm, I'm on a kick right now where I want to help you guys I've been you know doing a lot of business videos but I want to help you guys on a personal level too because it's I'm recognizing how important it is to be financially stable on a personal level in order for your business to grow uh, the reason most people don't have money for their business to grow is because they're financially unstable on the personal side right like we all have bills to pay and they're, they're like, well, I can either pay my light bill or I can buy this marketing. Well, of course you have to keep the lights on, right? And so what happens is five, 10 years go by, their business never grows they, and they don't know why. It's because you're not thinking enough about money. You don't know anything about it. Or if you do, you're ignoring how to use it. And, you know, I don't know what you guys, I'm, I'm a big believer and I'm a Christian and people in the church, they're scared to talk about money, but you know, they'll have $5,000 on a credit card and not think anything of it. Well, that goes that goes for anybody, but for the people I'm surrounded with, I see it all the time and it drives me insane. And, and for whatever reason, people, it's bizarre. It's like people, like it's almost like money is an evil thing. Like this right here, it's only, it's 700 bucks, okay? I'm getting ready to go put it in the bank. But what I'm saying is money is a problem solver but it can also be a problem creator if you don't know what you're doing with it or if you're reckless with it. For instance, I want a new motorcycle right now, okay? But until I have the cash where I can go and I can say, here you go, boom, put it on the table and pay cash for it, right? Until I have that expendable income and that cash is just sitting there for a motorcycle, I will not go buy that on a loan, okay? Everything I have is paid off besides my house. My wife's car is paid off. Uh, the truck I drive is in the business name. Um, we don't have any debt except our house, okay? And that's how you need to strive. And, and what that has allowed me to do, even in my early stages, I had no debt, okay? I drove a piece of crap car, but I still had no debt. And what that allowed me to do is not be stressed out at home and having to make payments on everything where I couldn't put that money that I actually profited from my business back into the business. So that's why my business was able to grow because I took everything I profited, I gave myself a very, very small paycheck, took everything I profited, I put it back in the business. So I'm gonna start making some videos about money and about personal finances. And I think you're gonna see uh, kind of where I'm heading with this shortly. But you guys, this is like one of the biggest things for me and I'm recognizing it and I'm a little irritated that I'm just recognizing it. but personal finances will dictate whether you can grow your business or not period if you if your personal finances are a mess uh, I'm gonna be making videos about how to get out of debt I want to be making videos um, about how to grow your savings account so you have an emergency fund and you have money put away and and you can buy yourself nice things and, and pay cash for your vehicles and all that kind of stuff uh, but you need to recognize that business uh, finances and personal finances, although they're separate, right? They're two different accounts. They, they're they very much together, guys, very, very much. Even at the stage of my business has, has grown so much, uh, my personal finances matter. And you will, if you're good with your personal finances down the road, it is going to reward you greatly. Uh, you'll be able to put the proper percentage down when you purchase a house. Uh, you'll be able to actually one day pay off your home. You'll be able to put money away for retirement. Us as self-employed people uh, don't think about things like that a lot. Like, hey, we don't get a retirement when we're 55, 60 years old. So what are you doing right now? I'm 28 years old. What am I doing right now so I can make this multiply? And when I do retire one day, I have money sitting away for me. That way I can retire comfortably. So just something I want to jump on here and talk about. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave my email below. Stay tuned. If you want more uh, videos on personal debt and finances, give me a thumbs up or, or shoot me a comment. And uh, I'd love to help you guys out. So I'll talk to you soon.